All right. Looks like we're good to go. So welcome everybody to game three of season two. Uh, we've got Dumble Score on the left side against uh, yes, yes, cheer, cheer. That's that's nice. Against uh, Dead Serious on the right side. So. All right. All right. Let's go. Everyone seems ready to go. So both sides roll d20 to see who goes first. Uh, cool. Oh, 20. Oh, well, Dead Serious is up. <laughs> 1d6 at a time. D6. 4. Pick 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ah, oh, yes. Dingleby's got that. Plus 3. Oh, nice. Sorry, Paige, are you watching them still? Yep. I think... We got the one, two, three, four, five, six, plus a one, two, three. Yes. Ding. The two fastest players in the game. All right. Uh, the Dumble score will begin. All right. Oh, I'm confused. Oh, they already got the ball. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah right. they, they also yeah. have a plus three speed chaser. I see, I see, I see. I'm cool. Oh boy. So we gotta go around him to stop an opportunity tackle, right? Yeah, so we can go in this direction. We go here. Yeah. You wanna go for the okay. shot? Yeah, I say go for it. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And we're gonna shoot. All right, dead serious. You can move your keeper up to two spaces for free. Uh, up to two spaces? Yeah. Yep. It's not really going to help, but you can put it into yeah. a different spot. Uh, okay, Neville, Mr. Schlongbottom, has minus one accuracy, so you will roll a d10 and subtract three, because you're also two spaces away. Come on, Neville. Ooh, Neville. That's nope. <laughs> so that's a miss. Wait, so... Oh, nice. Oh nope nope it goes here it it it's oh yeah sorry we missed and no you don't you don't you don't go back you go you go there oh come back forgot <laughs> unless you want to go all the way back nah you know this makes more sense okay so we've got a a two and a three left okay you just move people up okay I'll get like move the beaters up. like move a chaser and a beater up or both beaters. Okay, I went for uh, Abercrombie and one of the chasers. Maybe right, right here. One, two. Scan. Okay. I like that we don't have any negative speed, folks. Yes. Even if we don't have too many, like, super fast. Mm -hmm. You may it's also nice have your keeper. keeper if you wish. We're just we still wanna... keeper can still be like a flying goalkeeper, kind of like attacker kind of thing. Pardon? So keeper can still go forward, and then when goal ha when you concede, the keeper still gets the ball. If there was a goal, then it would have yeah, been to you. Yeah, we missed. So. No, no, no. But like, if the keeper was in like halfway line, my keeper was in halfway line, I would still get the ball at halfway line. No. If so, if you're if the keeper is not in the keeper zone. And you get yeah. scored on. Instead of the yeah. waffle going straight to your keeper, it'll go to your nearest yeah. chaser. All right, that's that's actually better. We uh, we realized that might have broken the game. <laughs> yeah. I think that was in the, the game yeah. that you were in. <laughs> yeah. All right, you are up. Dead serious. Okay. Three days. Oh, no, I'm not okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. okay so, 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 I'll use Madame Palfrey. The ball. From here. So that's like almost one, two, three, four, five. Pass to Ingleby. Yes. Move Madame Paul free in front of here. And then I'll go 
nine places. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so basically same chance as those guys. Except they get to move their keeper two spaces if they wish. Oh, I totally forgot about that part. <laughs> I wish. Yeah. I wish it's so. Oh, that was true. Okay, whatever. You still have a decent shot at yeah. scoring. So yeah. you will subtract two for being two spaces away and then an additional three because the uh, keeper is in the way. Duncan does not have any accuracy. So subtract five overall. You have to get a five or higher on your D10 to score. Yeah. That's whatever. Still D10. D10. Oh, Ooh. God damn it. So that's all. <laughs> oh, okay. So it will be serious, yeah. Ball goes directly behind the hoop. Cool. Oh, I still have my turn left. My bad. I still have my turn left. I think the one. Yeah. Um, I totally forgot. Okay, so I'm going to move Bryce one over. Okay. I, think, I don't think Bryce has any speed boost. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to move my keeper as well one one place. Yep. Yep. To here. Okay. That is round one. Dumble score, you're up. All right. Big rolls. One six. Decent, yep. Okay. Hmm. Can we grab the quaffle? Yeah, we so can pass it, can we? If we get um a diggle back here, we could kinda go in this direction and then pass it to Stan. Right. And then he can go up and try and pass to Neville. Sure. Alright. Go one, two, three, pass, and then we can go the six, I guess. Neville doesn't need much. Yeah, go the six. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, can that reach? Oh, Neville might have to go back one. Yeah, that's one too far away. And then pass to Neville, and he can go the go rest four. of the four. four. No, you still have the four. You still have the four. You yeah. three on Diggle. Yeah, yeah so right. we'll go. He moved one, so then two, three, four. Wait, what? Huh? But the hoop's right there. Oh, the, the. Yeah, I don't want to get the the the. the, the three. The opportunity right. to tackle because this okay. this feeder doesn't have a bludger, so they can't do anything. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna shoot. Okay, dead serious. You can move your keeper two spaces. Wait, does that do anything? Moving it nope. here? No. You don't have to. You okay. can leave it where like, you're. You're not gonna make any difference to the shot. Or you can move it like in the opposite direction. But, like you get two free moves. Do with what what you'd like. I'm gonna move it here. Sure. No, wait, wait. I'm going to move it here. Okay. Uh, Neville's got minus one accuracy, so roll a d10 and hope you don't get a one. Don't jinx me. I swear to God. I just like to... I believe. Yes! Hey. Nice. That is a goal. <laughs> That's new. Okay. Uh, I can give it to your keeper. Score is now ten nothing. I really appreciate the sound effects. Now I think Neville still had some movement, so you can finish off that movement if you wish. You did? It was like one or two or something, but yeah. Oh, okay. he, he started off with four, but he has like plus three on that, so. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think he moved five on five. his turn, so. so yeah, if he used four, he would have had seven. So he's two more. Yep. Want to just go up two? We kind of get in the way of the keeper. Well, there's only 
Yeah, we could go like this way. Diagonally. Like that? Sure. I guess that's the only defensive thing we can do. Okay. Yep. And we have one movement on our uh, keeper if you want. Yep. So maybe here? Mm. Well, they're still in the zone. They're still around the hoop. Sure. Yeah. Okay. We're done. All right. Dead serious. You're up. Yeah, three six. All right. So. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the ball with my keeper. I'm gonna move for this round. I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm actually gonna move corner a little bit up front here. No, no, actually here. So, Frank, one, two, three, four. What to call? And uh, Madam Humphrey, one, two, three, four. Actually, yeah, four. Actually, I'm gonna move Humphrey to wrong way. And uh, Peeves, one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, so that's my move. Okay, now just in the future. Remember, your yeah. keeper movement happens at the end of your turn. Oh, yeah, sorry. About that. So if you're if you're doing, like, the one free space that's got to go after everybody else, like, this didn't make any difference, but just in the future, just be mindful of that. All right. All right. Uh, that is the end of round two. Dumbo score, you're up. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Um, okay. Eh. Respectable. We can't quite get that ledger. One, two. Uh, we still want to head up towards it? Yeah. Be the next one? Yeah. Okay. And we have a three and a one. Maybe you want me to send one of the chasers in front of this net, just in case? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Mm, didn't do too much. And then we have a one. That's not your uh, chaser. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yep. Is that right? Yeah, that was that was. Yeah, good. I think so. Hmm. I feel like this chaser might be making a move, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> We can move Neville in run. What do you think? Yeah, like cut off the, the passing lane or something. Yeah. Or try to have like have us right there so that we could do like an opportunity tackle. Okay, yeah. Do so you wanna bring like Dodge up here? Like one, two, three? So if they get a pass, they've got to yeah. move? Yeah. Okay, and then we have one. Maybe we could move Neville with his one Four. and then plus three. Yeah. One. Upwards? Uh, where is that shape? Because they're going to have to move. Uh, they're gonna have to move up anyway. Yeah. So you want to back fit, or just like in front of their chasers, so like they have to move around. It. Okay. To... Well, the here. We can go right up beside Pomfrey. No, that's like how do I? It's like this. Is this me? Yeah. It's like it's the cursor, right? Yeah, if you click on the cursor and then just press and hold, and it'll do the ping. One, two, like three, four. Like here? Okay. Sounds good. And then the keeper move to go right in front of the net? Or do you want to stay in the middle just in case they swap it up? Because uh, you, you can just go right in front of the net, like right now. 
Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll try that. We'll see. All right. Okay. That's it. Dead serious. All right. One second. Still there? One second, I'm still thinking. One second. Oh, okay. This is a really nice website. Like, I appreciate the effort that went into this. Thank you. I'm going to move Madame Pomfrey back. Pass from Michael Coroner to Madame Pomfrey. Or does it have to come out of the keeper zone? It has to on this turn, but you can pass back for now. Hello, so Matt. Can... So I can't pass from Madame Pomfrey? Yeah, you can. But at the end of this turn, it better be out of the keeper zone. Oh, at the end of this turn. Yeah, because it's already been in for one turn. So you can pass within right now, but as like it has to come out before you finish the, this this turn here. I see. I mean, it's coming out whether you put it out or not. So. <laughs> so yeah. It'll just get magically yeeted. That's right. Well, does it just get yeeted forward until it's out of the zone? Yeah, I mean, we've never had to do it, so <laughs> I can't really exactly tell you how it works, but. It will happen if it needs to. I believe in the power of the yeet. That's right. In yeet, we trust. Maybe it'll be an apparit. Apparition. Or apparition. Apparition. I want that on a shirt. You have the power to make that happen. This is true. Or you could design it better than any of us. A pair of jorts. Yes, just like a patch. Wait, on like the back pocket. You can just screen print it. I should get a pair of shorts and just put all these weird phrases onto it. <laughs> it's Iconic. Good. A look. Can you just paint shorts with acrylic paint? Yeah, fabric paint. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I've stained shirts with acrylic paint when I accidentally get paint. So I guess if I intentionally do it, it would probably be just as permanent. Yeah. I mean, I wore a pair of shorts, like, shorts, to um, the paint party at, on, like, Frosh Week, and, like, they got stained, but they were cute stained, you know? It was, like, red and yellow and orange splotches all around, so, like, I continued to wear them, even though my mother was like, excuse me, what is that? Uh, paint. So, yeah. yeah, definitely. If you intentionally put uh, paint on there, hell yeah. Oh. Oh, what, what just happened to the... Uh... That confuses what happened there. <laughs> I just saw like three things move at once. Yeah. Frank went upward and the quaffles in the, in the distance. And then Gershish left <laughs> the call, so I <laughs> can't even ask him. Like, was oh, that... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we can, we can hear you typing. Maybe it just lagged for all of us. Oh, yeah. Not him. True. So did you so just, like, either way? Did you just get the uh, quaffle out there? Go sheesh. Can you hear me? Yep. 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 
Okay. Yeah, I just changed my computer, so I think it should be good now. So you just you just yeeted yeah. the ball out here? Yeah. Okay. All right. That is I respect that choice. three. Ready to rock and roll? Okay. Let's do it. Oof. Wow, these rolls are getting smaller and smaller. Okay. Well, we oh. can grab the bludger. Yep. Okay. So they're one? Or... Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, we can go get the quaffle and try and pass it back. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just yeet it back into our zone? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, um, six. I'm going to go six, seven. And then we can yeet six, right? One, two, three, four. Uh, uh, you can yeet uh, five. Neville has my yeah. connection. Oh, yes, well, Neville. Five spaces between you and where it would get yeeted to. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's meet, eat one, two, three, four. So we can eat to here? Correct. Okay. Okay, so then Stan can go grab that with the two. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Handy. Um, are you, let's keep our keeper there? Yep. Okay, nice. Defensive. But this this group is kind of exposed. Like uh, we kind yeah. of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if they wrestle the quaffle from us, they could go to that hoop. But there's what? not, like, we only get one keeper move, right? So Yeah, so if we move our keeper one here, then we'd at least be able to get beside the net. Okay. With two. Yeah. So we can help minimize the damage if that does happen. Okay. Yep, that's our turn. Okay. All right. So, should we pick? Okay, I'm going to use Bryce to get the. Pleasure and uh, maybe he's hunting metals. Oh, Frank's not negative one speed anymore. No, Frank, what? Uh, yeah, he doesn't need his walker. Frank had a glow up. Yeah, yeah. Well, Frank really glowed up. He got plus two strength. He's not agile, which I feel like is accurate, and he's accurate. He's old man strong. Yeah. Well, maybe if he's got his walking stick, that could do some damage. Just a little, like, around your knuckles. Yeah. One second. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just I'm excited to get our doge in play. I'm going to use dingle b1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And uh, we have what does completely has? Oh, three agility. Dang it. He's a spry feller. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to use peace. Get the bludger oh. and go in for a shot. All right. Keeves has plus two accuracy, but you'll subtract one because you're one space away, so you will add one overall. Stan has plus three agility, so you will add three plus two for holding the quaffle, so plus five. Oh, wait, they get those two for quaffle? Because they can block with yep. it. Yep. Okay, I'm not going to go for that then. <laughs> I'm gonna. Fair. I don't know about the quaffle part. 
Yeah, because it's easier to block something if you're holding a ball. You'd like to fight. That's it. Um, so I used two on Bryce. I sort of have one Bryce moment to go, so I'm going to use. I'm going to come back here. As for three. I'm going to move Cho Chang here. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, I think that's the move. I'm going to move Keeper by one here. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's my thing. Sounds good. That's the end of round four. So at the end of this round is when the snitch will live as well as the beast. Okay, so uh, Dumble score, you are up. Okay. Do a big roll for me. Oh, <laughs> nice. That ain't it. I, I Nailed it. That ain't it. That ain't it, Chief. Hmm. Oh. So Neville has eight. Could we do any? Like, could we make a play for this hoop? Yeah, I think so. If we go around Cho Chang, well, and if somehow, we move, if we move Stan you, one, and then move Neville two away, Stan can make that pass. Yes, he can. Okay. Yeah. That's Stan's one. Stan can. But it's two, so then six. Two, three, four, five, six, plus Neville. Uh, yeah. Is that legal? That is legal, yep. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, roll a d10. Uh, dead serious, you can move your keeper two spaces if you wish. Your D10 just can't be a one if you want to. Again, please don't jinx me. Yes. There you go. That is good. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> <That's terrible. laughs> Score is now 20 points to zero. Um. Yeah. So we moved Neville six out of eight. You want to move him just to this way? Yeah, okay. Get in the wave choke. And then we have one. <laughs> we have one more one. Mm -hmm. We want to beat anybody, like beat this guy? Um, can we? I don't know that we can. Oh, they don't have the coffle? Oh, we can beat beaters. We can't beat them. No, you can Chase beat anyone. I don't know who, you're, who you want to beat. Yeah, this is our only bludger at the moment. Oh, sorry. I was. I thought this person was going to me. They are not. That's wishful thinking. Yep. Yeah. But we could power of positivity. We could move one here and do a long beat on Frank. What are the odds of that, though? Uh, Low, because Frank's holding a ball for deflection. Yeah. Minus yeah. two for space. So yeah. you're subtracting two for distance. He'll be adding two for holding a ball, but he'll also subtract one for his uh, reduced agility. So we'd have to yeah. roll higher than a three. Well, hi higher than him by three. Yeah. Oh, higher than him by three. Because he'll roll a d10 as well. Yeah. Right. That's that's correct. And add one. You do you think we should just subtract two? Like do some kind of defensive thing, like move Doge up one or Yeah. Oh we can't move Doge yet. Move Doge. Let's just You can move Diggle. You can't move Doge. Yeah, we could put Diggle right here. And then on our keeper one put her in the middle of the two. 
Okay, sure. Okay. All yeah, right. that's hard. We're done. Okay. I love the name Diggle. Okay, so I'm going to move Cho Chang. Get the pass. Then I'm going to move Cho Chang here. I'm going to move Ingleby back one. Get the pass. And then uh, one, two, three, four, three. So I'm up to five, ten, one, two. Nah. So I need two, right? Two to score? Uh, ding, or diggle, or, yeah, sorry, dingle B uh, does not have any accuracy, so you'll just subtract one. So yeah, just get a, a two or higher to score. Uh, two, and I still have my six left. Perfect. Dumble score can move their keeper two spaces if they wish. Will that do anything? No, it will not. Yeah. Okay. Just depends on where you want, Myrtle. I think Myrtle's in a good place. For well, not for the moment, but yeah, not not now, but. All right. Okay, so should I roll a d10? Yeah. Yep. Just don't get a one, and you can score. Basically, yeah. One, one. There you go. That's a goal. All right. I'll be back in a minute. Just give me like 10 seconds. Okay. The number is now 20 points to 10 for a double score. I'm, I'm just going to put Ingleby back at half. Yeah. Oh. That's fair. And I think he still has the two. Or the six? Uh, he used the six on Okay. So I'm going to move Peeves now? Sure. Yep. And then go for um, Peeves. Beat on Shunpike, okay. Uh, Peeves has plus two accuracy. Shunpike has plus three agility. So both sides roll d10. All right. Come on, Shunpike. Nice. Nice. Okay. That is <laughs> and I uh, still have three left, so I'm going to go beat on the E1. Didn't you move Cho? Boom. Roasted. Yeah. I'm using okay. six on beef. Which one? You've moved all your characters now. Which one did you use on Diggle? No. Oh, on Diggle, I used two. Yeah, it does have a plus three, but oh yeah, 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 no, that's that's that's, that's right. Never mind. Yeah, one, that two, is. three, four, five. Yeah, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go and beat on you on then. Okay, I'll push a uh, stand to the back. One, two, three, beat on you on. All right. So, what do I need to get for you on? Uh, Peeves will again add two for accuracy. Ewan will add one for agility and then two more for holding the ball, so that'll be plus three on, on Ewan. Okay, oh, I'm not going to go for that. You're not? Okay. okay. So I'm going to go instead. I'm going to go back for Pete, and then I'm going to I'm going to move where the hell do I move? Um, actually, So Ewan still has plus three on me, right? He'll add if you try to beat him from there. Yeah. He'll add three, and you will add two, but subtract two because now you're two spaces away. No, but like if I was in like right beside it, then you'd add two. Would... He'd add three. So it's a one oh, point. So, difference. It's a one point. Oh my bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go for B. It's basically the same odds that you had on beating uh, Mr. Shunbike. Okay, I'm gonna go for you. Okay. Both sides roll each other. Hey. Okay, that is a miss. So, uh, I got three, two. That misses by six. So that'll just land over here. What was the sound effect again? Here, I'll play it again, just for you. Okay. 
All right, that's, that's fine. Okay. Oh, I can move my keeper as well, right? So yeah, gonna move it here. Nice. All right. Nope. 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 This is the end of round five. So now we do the. Fight. Now it gets spicy. It does so each side has their uh, beasts. So you, if you look at your beast cards, you can click and drag one, whichever one you want to play onto the field. It'll appear face down, which is how it will stay until. Uh, so both sides put their beasts down. They're perfect. Oh, that's on the wrong side. So we have. Sorry. So we have to do it right now. Yeah. Oh, one second. Can you send me the file where the beast part was? They're all. It's on, on the, the website. website. Here's the website link. And you can go search yeah beasts. At the top under updates, there's magical beast that has the page with all of them. Uh, I did not get the link in chat. It's in the. Here, I'll put it in the, the call in chat too as well. I'll put it in Google Meets. Thanks. Okay. Now the website's been promoted on uh, YouTube. Right. I'm gonna. I well, eventually I'm gonna go through the descriptions and add it in. Nice. Just give me a moment. Let me just go through. Okay. So that's where our beast card is? Yep, yes. the one on our side. Yeah. Can we move it? Oh, I know, we move it every turn, right? We're, we're going to flip it over, and then we'll put the actual beast shape onto the, the, yeah. the field. Okay, I see. That's just to, like, add a level of... Uh... Suspense. Mystery. Mm. Like, you know, in um, Yu Gi Oh! where they like really dramatically pull the cards from that like arm sheath thing they have and like flip it? It's it's like that. You know, every time Yu Gi Oh! was on YTV, I immediately skipped it. I was like, you know, don't care. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry. Honestly, the Bakugan TV show slapped. Like, that was such a great show. I never played like the, I never had the cards. No one I knew had like the actual like toys. But that TV show, wow, ten out of ten. Which one? Bakugan. They mm. were just spinning tops, but they made it so dramatic. I've been. Were you thinking Beyblades? What? Yeah, you think of Beyblades? Yeah, Beyblades. Oh, yeah. Bakugan were like the little marbles that like unfolded into like a dragon. They were hella oh, cool. Okay. The TV show was really yeah. good. I don't remember the Beyblade TV show that much, but I'm sure it was also like quality for its time. Well, yeah, I, I saw that Beyblade TV show. I was fucking loved it. Beyblades oh, yeah. and Joy, though, I've been playing yeah. them uh, when I babysit, and they are the best. You got that like one friend who's got like the actual stadium, and y'all just go like ham in that thing. Yeah, they have one. I've been using it. Yeah. We had like a really like shallow stadium, and our friend had a bigger one, so we put ours inside his stadium. So we had like double layers. <laughs> it was yeah. The stadiums got banned at my school because they were getting too intense. Oh yeah, everything cool gets yeah, banned. That's always a rule. If you're having too much fun, goodbye. Be Shut her down. Yeah, put the kibosh yeah. all over that. Yeah, the same with wheelies and tamagotchis. I don't think Tamagotchi's got banned. I don't think many kids had wheelies either. Oh, or Heelys. Oh, yeah, a lot of the kids in my school did. We had a, a really them. big school. Maybe they were just banned from the start, and that's why I never saw any of them with them. Yeah. <laughs> Preemptively banned. The hill, we had a concrete hill in the back. Ooh. So uh, many a tumble. Yeah, maybe that's why ours, uh, yeah, because we had a big hill in the back of ours, too. So maybe they said absolutely don't even think about even making eye contact with that hill. But, like, you learn hard lessons that way. It's like, oh, you're going to do Heelys down a concrete hill and you bust your face? Listen, that's on you. Like, <laughs> We have a hill out back. We call it the Hill of Death. No one's died, but we've had three broken-armed scooter-related incidents. Oh, my nice. goodness. Yeah. Again, like, hard lessons you got to learn sometimes. Yeah. 
My sister went, uh, she had a place where she was known at her school called the Weed Pit. Yeah. I bet they just didn't garden there a lot until the weeds grew. Mm, that's definitely oh, yeah. how it got its name. <laughs> it <was> definitely <laughs> fun. Yeah. School. Okay, so so when do they come in effect though? Right now. now. Right. So yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Okay. All right. Now. So y'all gonna right click and flip. Yes. One, two, three. Ooh. 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 All right, I'm gonna go grab those. All right. I'll just this should be interesting. we'll just slide these off to the side so that they can make way for the actual pieces. So what will happen is uh, once they arrive, you will position them so that they are uh, either like on the square that it has like the your keeper's own line in it or the one ahead that is touching the line. Now, with those basilisks, you only play one at a time. Um, and on your turn, you can choose to rotate it because uh, it can like look in both directions. So pick which one of those you actually want. Uh, I'll set these to the back. Wait, so can I move Dementors every turn, or is just like one I do it in space? No, nope, every turn you can move them three. Three each. Oh, three, three, three. So both of them can move three spaces every turn. Mm -hmm. I guess there's one with free delivery. Excuse me? Can I move it on a player like straight away? Uh, no, uh, no, it has to start, to start on your, your keeper line. Online. Oh, they start on the keeper line. Yeah. So this, okay. no, no, this line. This, this, line. this is yeah, the keeper's as... own line, not the goal line. Okay. But they have to start, so they are either, here, I'm going to show you. They can either start at this level where, you know, they are oh. touching the line, or okay. this one where they are on the space yep. that the line is going through. So they can't actually, they can't go into your keeper's zone. They can't go into either keeper's zone, really. Okay. They only stay between this line and this line. Oh, look at all those pings. Okay. Also, I think I didn't move the keeper last turn for my turn, so I'm going to move it now. Okay. Yeah. That, where, are you, and, uh, where are you putting this one? Because he's not in a good spot. <laughs> he's like <laughs> covering several, oh. several more spaces. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about me? Yeah, okay, that's good, that's good. I... All right, now just to give a bit of overview on beasts, their sphere of influence is basically all the spaces around the middle space. So if you look at this Dementor, you cannot have any players stand in this spot, and he, the Dementors can't move through people in, through that spot, but people can stand in you know these spaces, and that's how their, uh, their effects happen. So... If someone's in that space, you know, around the center spot, they get whatever effects are going on. Um, and it's just, yeah, you, the, the, the center space, well, not that space, this space, is what, uh, is the space that the Dementor physically possesses. I mean, it's physically in that space. And the ones adjacent or around it are all the ones that, you know, you can get uh, the nasty effects from. So I gotta add nasty to my jorts. <laughs> it's a nasty jorts. Wait, so my player can go into my own thing, right, and not have any effect? Uh, it depends on the beast for Dementors. Uh, no, any character that enters a Dementor sphere of influence is affected. So even yours can be directly affected by your own. No, but I don't have to roll those fancy dice, right? Or do I have to? Yeah, you do. Every oh. any character. Uh, is affected by the Dementors, not just the other teams. So I'm rolling against myself at that point? Yep. Well, we'll, we'll roll for the Dementor, you'll roll for your player. Oh, I see. Okay. But you can choose to like not put your players in the sphere of influence or yeah. not yeah, put yeah. your Dementor on a player of your own. Yeah. So okay, cool. you same, really shouldn't encounter that too much. Okay. The same thing goes for the Basilisk. It can affect both your players and Dumbledore's players. 
there are some beasts that you're immune to their effects if it's your own beast, but these are not those ones. All right, I'm going to roll for the snitch. Yes. Wow. Off to a good start. Hell yeah. I'm like a bat out of hell. All right. That's where I shall stand. Okay, Dumble score is up. Now, when you move your beast, you can do it before you move all your players, after you move all your players, but beasts have to go before your seeker roll. So if you roll your, for your seeker, then your beasts stay where they are. Double score if you wanna you wanna go, you, you can. Yep, yeah, I'm going. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I five. Five. All right, I'm writing I'm marking it down. Good, good. Nice. So you get to move a fourth character five spaces. Woo! Okay. Oh. Yes. Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay. <laughs> That's actually the second best dice roll you can get, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But it's not the magic well. classic. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best. Has anybody gone triple sixes? Yep, a couple times. Couple times. Not me, though. <laughs> no, Matt gets triple one. Not me. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, one. One. This is why Matt's on two teams this season, so he can have an extra chance at, at rolling them doubles or triple sixes. No, you want to really beat some good. folks to clear the path for Neville here? Okay. Want to go for Peeves first? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh... That's you and right? Mm hmm Okay, there's no perks out on either of these, so it's just a straight D10 against D10. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, tie goes to the uh, attacking, so that is a beat. So I can move it oh. anywhere on the keyboard Rush. line or the closest one? The closest, directly straight back. Okay, cool. So right here. We have one more space back. Not in time for there you go. You wanna move over and target uh, Ingleby? I was thinking more Cho. Oh okay, yeah. Because like, because Neville's path could be like around. Like we don't want him to go through the Dementors, so he could go around this way, right? Yeah, I see that. I think so, that'd be a better. Okay, so we have a five for you, and you wanna go. Like right here. Shoot yeah. That direction, or we can go like here and shoot upwards. Well, they don't really have. Where's their other beater over there? Well, what if we go to this spot and then if it goes back, at least our Mandrake baby can try and get it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So one, two, three. Okay. Okay. Show has plus one agility. Uh, Ewan doesn't have anything, so both sides roll d10. Oh! Oh, that's a critical fail for Cho. Boom. 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 Roasted. Oh! <laughs> I love these sound effects. Okay. Should we go for one more? <laughs> I mean, we're already feeling it. Like, we got... Like, he moved three, he can move two more. Mm-hmm. But there's not really a straight path to... You can shoot through Neville, I think, because he can dodge. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess we've never seen it happen yeah. before, but... Yeah? All right, we're going to shoot through Neville. Okay. Okay, so you will yeah. subtract one for being one space away. Dingleby does not have any agility. So, both sides roll d10. 
Oh. Oh, there you nope. go. Okay, so that is an overshoot of three. Ooh. Two, three. There we go. All the bludgers are in that corner. <laughs> yeah. I'm still proud of what we achieved. Okay. We still have three fives. Yeah. <laughs> so do we want to move? Um, how are we going to do this? Um, wait, because we have the keeper, so yeah. we can pass to Diggle. Yeah, so I'll get. So let's do that right now. Okay, pass to Diggle. Diggle moves up five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Straight up. Okay, Neville moves up eight. Or how 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 far can Neville move with eight? One, eight two, three, four, five. We're trying to go around the Dementors, right? So like this way. One, yeah. Three. Like, well, do I mean, do you want to risk going through the Dementors? No. No, I don't. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We could do a side shot on this one here. Oh, no. How did you do that? Yeah. One. Well, if I go like this, pass, and then we move away from. Oh, it's not a line. You can't pass. face that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Straight line. I mean, here we go. Here we go. Here's the plan. If we go one, two, three, four, then receive a <laughs> pass, and then go five, six. Seven. Oh yeah, no, we can't reach that. Yeah. You can come stand here and try and yeah. shoot. Yeah. The keeper will be right there, but I mean if you want to just risk just go for it. I'm I'm all for risking it. Uh, yeah, we're risking it. Let's do it. Uh dead serious, you can move your keeper two spaces. Yeah. Alright. Uh Neville has X one for for accuracy. Minus one for accuracy. Yep. And then <laughs> minus two for being two spaces away, and then minus three up more for the uh, keeper being there. So you'll subtract six overall. So get a. All right. Get a six. And I roll the D four as well. No, you don't. Yes. Oh. Yes. There you go. <laughs> oh, we roll D four. That's on net. No, you only roll a D four if you are adjacent to, but not in the way. I mean, I, I didn't know. It was a late addition in season one. I think we have five left. So, so for my keeper standing in diagonal three. Pardon? So my keeper standing away, I got three. You automatically get to defend with three if you're right in front of it. Okay, cool. If, if, you're, if you're along the path that is being shot through with your keeper, it's automatically yeah. three. If you're adjacent to the hoop but not in the way of the shot, then you roll a d4. Okay, cool. Fine. So it's one of the other ones stacked. All right. You want to move Mandrake maybe out with our last five? Mm. Or or. Stan? What is our other like this keeper? Who's this? Stan. Want to move Stan out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess because we can't move this guy. Like that? We just move. Um, I'm gonna move our basilisk three to try and absorb uh, Ingleby there. Okay. Oh. Uh, ooh, can I get the other ones? One, two. No, I think I can only get Ingleby, not Frank as well. All right. What a turn. All right. So. On on this turn, oh, roll? no, yes. Sorry, but on 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 Dead Serious's turn, uh, Duncan Ingleby will automatically have a minus two speed. Okay. Well, what a D three. Well, no, no, they got to oh, move. Their, they got to move their secret first and then the snitch. I'm just saying that when it is your turn, yeah, Dingleby is slow now for this. Okay. So, and you have to move Doge. Alpheus D6, right? Yep. Yep. Ooh. 
Oh yeah. There's something very aesthetically pleasing about a dog chasing a ball. <clears throat> yeah, I mean he's very yellow already, so seeker felt very natural. All right, final answer. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll be back. Page, roll for me. Mm -hmm. All right, got it. All right, snitch. The snitch has moved. Dead serious, you're up. All right. Gosh, the snitch is fast. It's mm -hmm. only like my second move, so I'll slow down. Don't worry. So I'm gonna move my dementor here. Okay. And then, oh wait, one, two, three. I'm gonna move it with, how did I move it? That was here. So I'm yep. gonna move in a way. It's here. All right. So I'll move it again. Yep, yeah, so what's gonna happen now? is uh, the Dementor is going to start sucking Yuan. So uh, Yuan has no strength. So uh, Paige, roll a d10 um, against the Dementor. And then uh, Gershish, you can also roll a d10 for the Dementor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yuan is uh, not being sucked by the Dementor, so... Uh, yeah, you're you're good to continue on. Um, Ewan is immune from the effects of either Dementor on the next turn. Oh, I see. So I'm gonna move it here one, two. I'm gonna move a dementia here. Okay. It's a little party. Actually, I'm gonna move it after this turn. So I'm gonna go with Bryce for a beat on uh, Iran. Okay. Uh, Frank has plus one accuracy. Yuan has uh, plus one agility. So both sides roll d10. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, right. go back to Okay, so Ewan falls off his broom. Boom. Roasted. That's right. I can only move two in there, so. After you did so well against the Dementor. Yeah, I know. Got <laughs> hit with just a little ball. I mean, a high velocity ball. Yeah. I wonder how fast uh, the bludgers move. Depends on how fast you throw them. No, I mean, I mean in, in the, the actual, uh, like the film or the book. Because oh. they always look like, like a speeding car. Like yeah, they're, they're zooming. Going. Wait, how much can Basilisk move every turn? Three. Three. Three spaces. Three the, you can only move on right now. The only thing you can do with uh, Duncan is move in one space, and that's if you use the three on him because he's automatically got minus two speed. Yeah, Thank but you. he has plus three speed as well, right? No, but it, when it's when it's the basilisk, it doesn't it doesn't stack onto existing speed modifiers. It is a flat minus two. So even if your character has plus three speed, or if they had you know zero speed, it's still minus two for everything. Oh, any existing speed modifiers are not taken into account. So, uh, so I can only move in one place, right? Yep. Right. And that would be using the three that you rolled. 
sangrano che si è ragazzato. Actually, I'm going to move it here. All right. Nope, I'm going to move it here. Don't yeah. do that. That's, the, the, that's the middle space. That's the space the basilisk occupies. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah the, middle, the so, middle space on any beast is the space that it's actually like in. Yeah. So I'm gonna move palm frame. No, no, okay. I'm gonna move Chuo Chen one. Keep with the micro corner for this round. And um, so I can put in a, another beast, right? No. Nope. No, you, We're done when with does beast. that happen? Oh, so I could, I could only do one? One of the yeah. three cards you get, yeah. What? I told all three were available. Oh, no, that'd be a little too chaotic for you this board. You can choose from any of the three that you had, but you can only play one per game. I oh think my you God. still have. I did not know that. You still have three movement on your other Dementor, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know what yeah. the hell I'm going to do with that guy. So, will Ingleby be affected by the Basilisk again? If he doesn't get out of the uh, sphere of influence, yep. All right. They actually. Actually, I'm going to move it one, two, here. Here. Yep. And. Uh, Oh, uh, yeah, you guys can go ahead. Well, for the snitch, right? You can do your seeker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seeker. So D6? Yeah. Three. So. Where's the snitch? So one, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, cool. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Snitch is adding two. Why do you have a, a mask on in your house? Uh, so I just moved into my um, new residence for uh, law school. I have a a very strict thing. If they see you without a mask on in the hallways, you get fined five hundred thousand dollars. Oh, oh, yeah. Five hundred. Yeah. I'm just gonna move here as a snitch. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> which I want to get back to that actually, but uh, I'm gonna just sit in this corner because uh, I'm in a good place right now, and I don't need to come closer to y'all yet. Yeah. Is that half a million? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, but are you so, in the hallway right now? No, I'm back inside my room. So that's why I took it off. Oh, is that where you went to get the root beer? Yeah, it's cheaper. I was getting some, it's late outside. So I was like, and I don't really know Ottawa too well. So I'm going to try to give, give myself a self tour tomorrow. But I just ordered from DoorDash, but getting a drink here in the room in like the place itself is cheaper than just ordering a meal. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, whoever's turn is, is yeah. which I think it's double score. Yeah. Yeah. So we just yeah. rolled. So we got two for two. I don't, I don't know what we can do with this. What? I don't, uh, we could like move you in up four to, 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 like, towards the bludger. Um, you got any idea? So there's the four, and maybe just move some of ours slightly out of the way, the mentors. Like Neville, okay, yeah, can yeah. Move yeah. Neville away from the mentors, yeah. So maybe Dodge can go one, two, this way. Oh, one, two. Yeah. And then the other, Neville can move five. Um, do you want to go up around this way? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this, Neville. 
One, two, three, like four, five. There. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the basilisk. What are we doing with that? Um, let me just see. Something. We could um change direction and get Frank and uh Ingleby. If we switch to this direction. Okay. All right. Wait, they can do that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. That's how the basilisk works. So and then just move over one in two directions. Oh, you have to be up there. There you go. Yep, that's fine. So we got two for one deals going on. And I think that's all of our moves for this dice. And then just our seeker. Yep. Nice. Nice. Okay, uh, up and around. You only move five, so I guess so. Okay. Okay. All right, Snitch is adding a two still. Okay, hmm. I am good. Okay, Dead Sickness, you're up. The score is currently thirty points to ten, Matt. For who? Dumble score. Dumble score? Left to right, yeah. So I'm gonna throw the copper one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna use they will be one, two, three. So I can only use them for three, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That certainly is a uh, interesting photo of Neville Schlongbottom you chose. <laughs> right? We're just Wait, doing the so character if, justice. Uh, if the um, basilisk gets on snitch, what happens then? The snitch can go anywhere. It doesn't. It doesn't affect the snitch any. It just affects people. The okay. snitch has no soul. Uh, the snitch is best friend with every single beast. <laughs> I'm, I'm always curious what happens to some of the minor actors who played roles in Harry Potter. My research. Who played what? I'm just like, what happened to the actors who played minor roles within Harry Potter? Right, right uh, here. Hopefully they got other acting jobs. Well, yeah, but As did they go out become prominent stars? One. Uh, I think we would have heard of it if. If you know, like Terry Boot became oh, yeah. like I'm gonna the next Tom Cruise. Like oh, I'm Neville on the bottom. Oh. Neville, my boy. Now Neville uh, does not have. Neville's getting sucked. Okay, so yeah, you're trying to suck Neville. So yeah. Uh, both sides roll d10. Nothing's added. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're just rolling to defend now. Sorry, I'm rolling to defend. Yeah, yeah. So that Chong bottom doesn't get sucked. Come on. Oh, oh Tiger's attacking team which means the Dementor is currently sucking Neville, so Neville cannot move at all on the next turn. And, no! And uh, has to get... has to but, successfully defend against the Dementor. Um, or sorry, at the beginning of the next turn, 
So I'm gonna move my Dementor to here. Okay. Look at that wall. Sorry, at the beginning of your next turn, um, Dumble Score, you will roll for Neville to see if he gets sucked a little bit more. And if he does, then he falls off his broom. If not, and how, then he's good. And how much? Uh, so do I roll as well, or my five? It's against five. You'll, you'll roll again on the next time for your Dementor. But okay, cool. Don't worry about that yet. So, they, so he's not stuck for next round. He, they they have to test against him to see if uh, Neville gets sucked. Wait, I'm a little bit confused. So, like, if I, so don't they get Neville, paralyzed? That's what I mean. Neville can't move on his next turn. They have to yeah. roll a d10 to see if he gets his soul sucked out completely. If his soul does get sucked out okay. completely, then he goes back to hoops. But if it doesn't, then he's good. He's safe, but he can't move. He's just he's stuck there for that turn. Okay, cool. Makes sense. As for... I still have one left, I believe. Uh, so I'm going to move Madame Pomfrey up. And I'm going to roll for... That. What do you call it? Seeker. Seeker, yeah. Oh, god damn it. The three. Actually, here. Okay, and that is the end of round seven, so the snitch uh, adds one now. Don't Wait, one, one more second. Weren't you Basilisk on my Frank? Yeah. It was. You move Frank. Oh, shit, I, moved, I didn't move Frank. I was like, no. Oh, cool. Yeah, you move Duncan, Frank, and Pomfrey. Yeah, I totally forgot about that one. And the Dementors. Okay. Uh, Snitch has moved, yes? Yep. Okay. Dumbo score, you are up. Okay. Man. Oh, so I'm going to move Keeper one place. Okay. Ooh, not so bad. Do that before your Seeker goes. Okay, well, the quaffle's way up in uh, this right field. You do have to mm -hmm. see if Longbottom gets sucked. Oh, yeah, we do that now? Do that right now? You can. You have to, you have to do that this, this turn anyways. Yeah, well, let's do this right now. Now. I'm going to roll a D10. Oh! oh. No oh. oh. What? Ty goes to the sucker. No. <laughs> um, Does it like the Dementor fall out of his cloak or something? No, I'm sorry. That's not how that works. Uh, okay. Wow. Well, I was so excited there. Oh, man. He tried, though. He tried yeah. his very best. Well, Wait, does back. that mean Neville gets put back? Yep. Yeah. Okay. The second so time you get the soul comes out and he falls off his bill. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we can, okay. can we move him? No. Or is that like getting beat? That's what just like... No, I can't move him. Movement. Ah, right. Movement. You couldn't move him at all this turn because he was in the Dementor space. Okay, well, Frank... Or not Frank. I'm thinking of the old season. Ewan can't get the bludger, but he can get beside it. Yeah, let's get right up there. One... Two, three, four, five. Okay. Ready. And then I guess move. Want to move Deladus or Stan? Uh, let's move Stan. You know? Okay. Let's move Stan up five. Hey, do you want to move our Basilisk at all? To uh, get Ingleby maybe again? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Did you want to switch direction and do this one? Um, how does it go? Here. Oh, how does that go? No, I don't think we can reach him with this with this one. Never mind. No, we can't. So I think just leave it at the original. Yeah. 
Is it just that extra little peak? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we just have a five and a three. Yeah. So, so scan up. Yeah, like. Point. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, and then I guess Del just up three. This way? Or off to the side? Uh, off to the side, the dimension can get her. How I mean, many can the mentors move per turn? Three. Three. So if we go here, we're still in reach. Even even here is still in reach. Yep. Okay. So are we gonna risk it? Or go one down in that direction instead? I'd say stay there. Oh, actually, I think we're good here. Let's see, one, two. Oh, one. No, no, no. Stay here? Yeah. Okay. And I can see the snitch. What, like, what coordinates is it at? Oh, it's right in the dimension. Oh, it's right there. It's in the dimension. Yeah. yeah. When, when it's in a base, you don't actually see the, uh, the aura around it. Yeah. Because it's hiding. Okay. So, well, I guess we didn't have our seeker. Yep. Oh, Ooh, we can wait. Can we get it? Yeah. You can try. You can try. Let's let's try. Right here. Let's go go here. I mean, yeah, okay. So uh Alpha's Doge has plus one accuracy. And it has been, we're in the, well, it's two rounds have passed since the snitch arrived, so you will add three overall to your d10. The snitch will roll a d20. Oh, man. We can do this. You get a perfect it's 10. A 10. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Oh, not with that attitude. Of course not. <laughs> so that is a miss. But you're, you still stand there, but you're very likely going to get sucked on the next turn. Yep. Or thrown, depending on how I'm feeling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, fun fact, that is the first time during season two that a snitch attempt has missed. That is not a fun fact. <laughs> it's a really that fun is fact. very not fun. I think it's not fun. What is, what's this the first time? That if during season two that a, a snitch... An attempt at a snitch grab was unsuccessful. Was this the earliest attempted snitch grab, though, in season two? Uh, no, no, because the other games would like the first attempt at a snitch grab ended it, and the other games went to I think nine and ten rounds. Yeah, but when yeah, was I think that was was ten. All right, I move here, and I'm gonna leave dodge open for sucking. Ooh. <gasps> That just sounds. That sucks. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. Oh, nice. As long as we've gone with it, it's awful. Just because everyone's getting, like, bit, sucked, mm -hmm. thrown, you know? Sucked. All the things you expect from a classic game of Quidditch. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. right. Does anyone watch the Owl House? They had a, a Quidditch parody of it. Okay, Pretty let's fun. do the um, the Dementor thing first. Okay. Go for it. What's it called, Paige? The Owl House. I'm gonna go for the Dementor first. I'll look for that. Good job. I can send you a YouTube link if you need. All right. It looks like Doge is about to be sucked. So both sides roll a D10. Nothing's added here. Oh, I'd like a skew. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Yeah. So Doge does not get sucked. And Doge is immune from sucking on the next turn. Cool. So uh, should have thrown you. You'll have another chance. Maybe. I'm going to move them on trigger. Actually, what the hell I'm going to do there? Yeah. Actually, not here. 
So, so I'm going to move Cho Chen. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to move. Can I pass through the snake? You can pass through the yep. sphere of influence, but not through the middle space, because that again is the space that the uh, beast is occupying. So like right here. Correct. Little baby snake in there. Hmm. Okay. So I'm okay. gonna move it one, two, three. I'm gonna move it here. Okay, and uh, I still have one left, so I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm gonna move Frank Rice and go for B Don Dodge. All right, uh, Frank has plus one accuracy. Uh, Elfius Doge has no agility, so both sides roll a D10. Oof, oof. Oh, that is it. boom! Roasted. No, I feel like one one way or or another, we were getting sent home. On yeah, this good. Flight. It's what you deserve. Yeah. Okay, so as for um, <laughs> keeper, I'm gonna move keeper. Where should I move keeper? I'm gonna move my keeper. So where should I move? Here. Okay. Whatever. And um, as for Nature, I'm gonna roll with these two. Why are you being so shit? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can only move four. All right. You guys can go ahead. Okay, that is the end of round eight. So the snitch will now be adding zero. All right, snitch is moved, Dumble score is up. Okay. Yeehaw. Well, Ewan can grab the bludger. Okay. With boom. We want to move our snake, and you can get Ingleby again. <laughs> oh, Frank! Want to get Frank when we're down? Yeah. Okay, we could go like. Oh, well, Ingleby could get the wait. Can the snake move three or two? Three, three. Okay. So we could we could flip ourselves upside down. Use our alternate snake. Yeah, because Ingleby could get the quaffle. Yeah, so we could go like flip here and then go one, two, little three, like that. Yeah? Yeah, okay. And then. We like there's still an opportunity beat if even if we don't have the quaffle like around the um although the like the beater would try to beat us. Want to try and beat uh Frank? Well, there's no like we're we can't go through there um, like without getting beaten anyway, so we should probably just try. Okay, try to beat. Or try to go Can we go like go closer to them? Like use the five or something? Yeah, so that we do use one, two, three, four, five, like that. Can we go, can we go around here? Well no, we can't really. Just because if we fail, like it's gonna go um, yeah. in there. 
then we're never getting it. Well, we could get it back. But. Yeah. Well, you want to try? Let's try it. Sure. Okay, Frank, get ready to defend. Ewan has no accuracy. Frank has minus one agility, but he's holding a bludger, so that'll add two. So you're plus one overall for, for Frank. So both sides roll d10. Mm. Okay, Frank is yes. beat. Boom. Roasted. Roasted. I like it. Do you want to so throw that? A one and a four. Yep. You want to use a oh. dig up with a four? Oh, sh. Oh, because Ewan's right there. He's gonna... okay. Well, can we move Diggle up four? Yeah, like that. Uh, one, two, three, four, four. Yeah, like there? Or do you want to go here? Mm, a little farther away. That one? Yeah. Okay. And then a one. Maybe Stan can go this side. We'll flank him. Sure. Or Neville can move up four now. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Neville's back in play. One, two, three, four. Straight up. Bring okay. The and it's neutral. Ooh. Okay. Just five straight up. Oh, Doge. You tried so hard. Okay, that defaults to three for the site. All right, Dead Serious is up. I'm gonna first use the mentor and uh, get on E1. Okay. Uh, Ewan does not have strength, so both sides roll D10. Eight. Okay, Ewan is currently being sucked. Mm. As for also, I'm going to move to a chain for three, get the quaffle, and then move it back. Uh, you can't take the quaffle back into your keeper zone. Okay, I'm going to do it here. Anyway. So, for three, I'm going to do it here. Okay. As for, I use six, I use so three and one. I'm gonna move Eagle B one up. Okay. And um, as for one, I'm gonna I'm gonna move I'm gonna move Pete. Uh, I'm gonna move Frank by itself. Um, As for my snitch, oh yeah, for my other dementia, I'm gonna. If you want to move your keeper, do that um, before you roll your seeker. Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna move people once here. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to move to Mentor. I'm going to move to Mentor. Nope, here. Okay. 
That's for the seeker? Yep. Why am I getting two for seeker? <laughs> You guys go ahead. All right, that is the end of round nine. Snitch is now subtracting one. Bye. Dumble score, you're up. Okay, so should we roll for you in? Uh, yes. Yeah. Being so both sides roll D10. Oh, oh finally. Okay, you is right. not being sucked anymore, but he is stuck in that spot for this turn. So he just no. you don't have to go back to half. Okay. Or you Good job. go back to hoop so. He can't move, but can he throw stuff? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just you can't the movement you can't do. Yeah, but we don't have a direct line to anybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there is another ball there, and that Dementor is not allowed to stay on that spot for the next turn. So we could throw this one and then pick up that other ball. Or just hang on it t until then, because we can't. We could throw like throw it in, in like this vague direction. I'm pointing. Like Yeah, so I think we can get to so, here. Maybe the Mandrake baby could be useful. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. From baby to baby. Mm -hmm. is that actually baby. He has just as nice big ears. Mm, I see. Uh, I see. That is not an accurate picture from the movies because I don't believe he's actually in the movies. <laughs> What's he gonna say? I don't remember that guy. He's just known for having large ears. And being like young, I think. That's why we. Got a picture of a child. <laughs> ah. Okay. Um, do you want to giggle to try and get in through this little hole? Uh, no, because she's not going to make it. Yeah? This is fair. We can move Stan and Neville up, though. Okay, let's do that. One, two, three. What is uh, Neville the full? Or the three yeah, plus three. Put him away from the Dementor. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want to give him the four? Okay, we'll give him the six. Yeah. Give him the okay, six. And then Stan, go one, two, three, four, and he's clear. Yeah. And Neville can go one, two, three. Ooh. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get him without the ball. Oh. Yeah, put that oh. What? He's not allowed to use that. Okay. Uh, four. Five. Six. So, is he away from the, like, the, the Dementor can't get him next turn? Actually, there, there he's safe. Yes, he's safe there. Okay. Oh, okay. We want to move our basilisk. Can we move it anywhere useful? Can we get Cho? Uh, we can go get Cho. No, you can't. One, two, three. Even if we flip them? One, two. Because you can't cross. You don't have room to flip. Zone. Oh, yeah. The, the base right. of the basilisk is four spaces wide, and there's only three that you could legally be on before you hit the uh, keeper zone. But what if we flip it? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to take a peek. If we flip, it'd be here. No, the and base is one. four. One. Oh, yeah, we can't get in. We can't fit. Because if we were in, if we were to get there, we'd have to not be overlapping the Dementor, and we'd be too far in. Correct. I see. Oh, okay. You've been boxed out by the Dementor. Oh, mm -hmm. sneaky. All right, is there anything else you want to do? Wait, did we move our one? I don't think we moved one. Yeah. I of Mandrake Baby. <laughs> oh, oh, finally, Mandrake Baby's getting some action. 
We could actually do this. We could move over one and then block Cho from getting through. Yeah, that would be smart, actually. Okay. And then seek a roll. Ba -ba -ba. Oops. Woo. It's going to go through this way. Sure. As long as we're away from the Dementor, that's all I care about. You know, to that way. Okay. All right. Snitch subtracting one. All right, dead serious, you're up. Now on this turn, Duncan does have to move off of that bludger, and so does that Dementor. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna go for Diggle with my Dementor. All right. Uh, Deadless Diggle does not have any strength, so both sides roll d10. Okay, Diggle is not sucked and immune Ooh. from the uh, either Dementor on the next turn. I'm going to move my other Dementor here. And, uh, you have to... You would have to roll for Luna then. Oh, I'm gonna suck your own seeker. <laughs> oh, so I can still. I mean, I can do it this time. Right. Uh, but you would have had yep. to move through Luna to get there. Oh, so that also happens. Cool. Never mind. So. I mean, you could do it if you were willing to suck Luna. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So I'm gonna move. Okay, I'm gonna get um, Duncan out of here. Okay. It's gonna be one, two, three. Um, nope, the, the ball stays there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna move Cho Chang up three. One, two, three. And pass it to Duncan. Okay. And. Um, Actually, I'm not going to pass it to Duncan. I'm going to... What if I throw the ball in my Dementor area, and if Diggle moves in to get the ball, 
Is he immune? No. So he'll he'll so he'll again have to do that strength strength thing, right? Or sorry, wait, wait, wait. Diggle or Duncan Ingleby? Diggle. D- okay, yeah, no, D- Diggle is immune. Sorry, because Diggle, you failed to suck Diggle this time. So on his next turn, Diggle is able to freely move. So I'm gonna move here, Duncan. As it, uh, as for Cho, I'm gonna move Cho. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. I'll do the plan. Y'all actually have a plan? Maybe. I'm going to move Bryce five and uh, I'm going to move show one, two, three, four. Oh, I actually don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. I'm for D6. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So one, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna move it here. Alright. So that is the end of round ten. Snitch is now subtracting two for the rest of the game. Thanks. Dumbo score is up. Oh. I think I might be rolling. So. I think so too. Bum, bum, bum. Whoa. <laughs> Highs and lows. <laughs> like high and lows. Okay, one high, multiple lows. Alrighty. Hmm. Wow. I'm thinking of plan. Okay. Oh, hey, you're back. Yeah. Teamwork. <laughs> Yay. I'm um, thinking of trying to move the basilisk off of uh, Duncan so that we can tackle for it with Giggle. Okay. Can Diggle reach there in six? Um, One, two, three. Yeah. So I'm going to move there and then flip him. Can I flip him? Yes. Can't you? Can you okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's there. Can I move down one into here? One, two. Oh, no, I can't do that. But we can still tackle from there. We only have to move side. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right. Diggle has no strength, and Dingleby has no agility. So both sides roll D10. Nah. Nah. That was an unsuccessful tackle. But it's going to be difficult to get out from around us, at the very least. You know? I guess. Okay, do we want to... You wanted to grab that pledger? Yeah. Okay. And should Neville make moves with the last one? Oh, yeah, we can verse six. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just move them all forward. Here. Okay. 
Okay, and then let's let's see. Okay. I think we can reach it. Oops, D6. Okay, D6. Ooh. Ooh. Ha. Why do you think we're gonna get? Get... What? I know we have the great, we have the great seeker roll. So the only thing is we're gonna get Sucked. sucked by the dimensional. You want to go through the crack? We can. I feel like that's kind of our best move. We can yeah, go up. Yeah, it's so, so it's like, do you want to risk it and see if we beat the D10? We could go up and over because they can't move up where the basilisk is. Okay, what's your idea? Um, I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five, six. Eh. Mm, I'll, I'll just go through the gauntlet, risk it. Okay, yeah, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. Godspeed, Doge. <laughs> All right, that's it for us. Okay, snitch, subtracting two. Oh boy, where should I go? Ooh. Ooh. Big money. It's been about two hours. So I'm certainly not going to run too far. We're at an hour 46. Speaking of time, uh, I got to switch to mobile because I have to go to work. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so I hope you're ready to hear some traffic. Excellent. We are. Oh, let's see. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feisty. All right, dead serious. All right. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go for the Bledger on E1. Okay. Uh, that is Frank tackling E1. So mm -hmm. Frank has plus two strength. Ewan has plus one agility. So both sides roll D10. Oh. 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 All right, so... Ewan dodges so well that Frank falls off his broom. Boom. Boom. Roasted. Can I throw a quaffle through Diggle? Uh, no. No. Because that's on the other team. You can try. You'd have to roll for accuracy. And if you fail, then Diggle gets it. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I'm just going to switch to mobile. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah.
which I'm going to use Elementor on you on. Okay. Well, I should be something. Actually, I'm going to use it on both E1 and. going to go. We might have to start uh, cutting you down on time, sir. Ooh, can, I, can I play it? Gershish? I think, I think his thing might have frozen. Okay, don't play it yet, just because I don't want to get copyright strike. I could make it. I'll sing an off-brand one. Sure. Do, 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 do. Wow, stunning. I mixed up the notes so that we wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't get mm -hmm. dinged. Beat the system. Mm -hmm. Oh, things are in motion. But Ewan's been absorbed in the middle. Oh, he's left. That's oh, illegal. That is illegal, okay. He's he's left. Oh, he's coming back. What? In the call. I think uh, muted. Uh, yes. You, you, you can't move the Dementor there because now he is occupying the same spot as you in. Okay, so I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, Doge is saved. Loose. I mean, I have other Dementor as well. All right, so it looks like you're okay. doing the sucking on the Ewan. Yeah. Okay, so both sides roll D10. Can you still roll, or do you want me to roll? Why am I getting such bad rolls? Uh, Madeline's muted. Okay, I'm going to roll. I think she might be on the move. Okay, you roll. Oh, you're back. Yeah. Okay, you oh, yeah. is immune to the Dementor. I'm going to try on those. That was a D6. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, is that not? <laughs> Try again with a D10. Ah, and you fail. Hey. You and is still oh. uh, still immune. Get sucked even less. <laughs> okay. Next. Okay, I have some on Doge. Okay, both sides roll D10. Uh oh, come on, Doge. Uh, is it still on me, or are you able to? You do it. Okay. Do it. D10. Oh. No! Okay, Doge is currently being sucked. Cannot Mind move on Doge. the next turn and has to roll again to see if uh, he stays there or he eats back to half. Or not half. Okay. Goal line. As for still on my turn left, it's too flat, but I'm going to figure out what to do. So. Wait, I only moved my first cement only one place. I can still move him, right? Two more places, even though I kind of stopped in the middle. The first one, yes. The second one you did, yep. you have three. Okay, so one, two. So I'm going to move it here. Okay. And um, I'm going to... Oh, no. What? I'm gonna do a throw, an accuracy throw. A pass over they go. Okay. Uh Duncan Angle has no accuracy. So post up roll D ten. If Duncan Also one more thing. If I try to go over Diggle, I have to do opportunity tackle every time I'm going through him. If you step here. Yeah. Or here, he gets an opportunity tackle. No, but if I win that tackle and then I move one forward, then again opportunity tackle? 
Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and that's only if you're holding the quaffle. If you manage to throw the quaffle, then you can go wherever without fear of being tackled. Correct. I'm going to throw my quaffle there. Okay, both sides are right. here. No, no, I'm not gonna go. Oh, I'm gonna not gonna throw it to him. Oh, okay. I'm gonna throw it like that. Yep, and then I have four things. So I'm gonna move it here. And then. Which, which role are you using to do that? Six. Okay. And. Uh, Where are you now? Or are we not disclosing locations because of YouTubing? She's walking to work in a foreign country. Yeah, That's where right. you have a classification here. I'm gonna move they go be here. Okay. And then I'm gonna use my five on Cho Chang as on Cho Chang. Actually I'm just gonna use two on Cho Chang. Oh, what the hell am I going to do with it? Though? And then I'm going to move upward. upward. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, sure. That's my intuition. So uh, you four. already used the six on angle. No, it's five. But on uh, Ingleby. On Ingleby. Yes, I use six on Ingleby and using five on Chochen. Okay, well, she just moved six. Oh, wait, what? One, two. No. No, no, no. Where was, where was she? You moved her two to get here. To get a pass. No, no, I moved her one. I moved her one. I'm pretty sure you moved her two to get there. No, it was here, right? Chochen was here. And then I moved her here. Got the path, and then one, two, three, four. Does anybody else remember where she was? No, it was I'm sorry. Here. Okay, I'll allow, here. I'll allow it, but next time you have to do your moves faster. Okay, because <laughs> things have been. Cho Chang was here. Cho Chang was here. Okay, and, I'm uh, allowing it, but you have to do your turns faster. Okay, and uh, so two, I'm gonna move. I'm going to move Madam Comfrey back. If we were live streaming, we could do the 30 second uh, delay. And her here. Oh. Okay, then you guys can go ahead. I'm oh, sorry, I still have to do the thing. We don't want to get okay. copyright strike, Matthew. <laughs> Unless you're playing that, in which case we risk it. Yeah, you're worth it. <laughs> <laughs> You would okay, yeah. you can go ahead. Okay. okay. That is the end of round 11. Uh, ooh. Snitch. Oh, 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 oh. One, two, three. Doge is not moving. Oh, no, it's rough. Uh, no. All right, I'll do the roll. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to grab a. Oh, dear. Okay, do you want to roll for Doge right now? Uh, you have to, yeah. All right, well, sorry. Well, three, Both sides will be. Come on, Doge. Okay, that's pretty. Oh, my God. Doge is there. Respect the roll. Uh, This could be beneficial. Sorry. Excuse the noise. From room. From room. <laughs> yeah. We, we timed those sounds to match the, the Ford. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Can you roll for the movement? Yeah, I, well, Sorry, I rolled I did. the 3d6. That's the one, the 6, and the 4. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, so nice. what can we do? Well, I think we can challenge Cho Chang for that ball and take a run up the, the net. Sure. 
Do you want to challenge with Stan just in case uh, it goes horribly awry? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so maybe go so here. Roll D10. Okay. Yep. All right. Stan, Stan has uh, minus one strength, and Cho has oh. plus one agility. But it looks like it's good. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh. Roasted. Okay. All right. Uh, let's pass that to Neville. Long bottom and receives then, the pass. And we have a six plus three, so... Let's go around Pomfrey. One, two, three, four, five, six to here. Then one, two, and shoot that way. Sure. Yeah, okay. Kind of, we could shoot from behind the net. You can. Yeah. If we succeed, we go back to half. If we miss, it's headed right towards Shunpike. Yep, sounds okay. good. Okay. All right. All right. Dead serious can move your keeper two spaces. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Neville has minus one accuracy. So while well, you roll a d10 and just hope you. Oh, uh, wait, wait, no, no. Keeper, you can roll a uh, d4 to see what adds. Okay. I'm afraid. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh you got me. That is a miss. So that will yeah. be. That just lands here. Ooh. It doesn't overshoot by anything, it just goes there. Okay. Um. Alright. Not the worst. Oh. I still would have liked that goal, though. Yeah, that, that would have been the best option. Um. We have a one. Do you want to try and beat Inglesby with our, uh, Ewan? What if we miss, though? Is it That's, worth it? It was right, right near uh, Frank. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, that's always the risk you take. But, like, will the bludger go right to somebody else? Uh, right to Frank. Depends on how yeah, far you overshoot. Thing. Yeah. I, I'm good with not. <laughs> okay. Aren't you uh, a mandrake baby? I am a mandrake baby. Mandrake yeah. moves the grand total like one space. Yep. Hey, it's moved, he's moved two spaces. Yep. He or she, I'm not sure if that's baby. The first would be neutral. Uh, I think Stan had one more. Yeah. I believe that is correct. Yeah. So I'll just go there. Okay, okay. it's neutral. Oh, yeah, yeah, because our doge is out of the... Oh, yeah, we can't oh, yeah, yeah, you can't. Oh, yeah, we, we got beat. Doge's, doge's yeah. stuff. Ah, oh, be. All right, so now it's snitch roll, then? Yes. Yeah, I'm turning my microphone off now. All right. It seems like a team could be in a pickle. Okay, I'll just roll if I don't see any rolls. Um, well, I guess we're going here. Okay. Dead serious, you're up. Yeah. So. So we're Okay, so I'm gonna go first for Ewan. Ewan's immune this turn. Actually, oh, he's immune this turn. Yeah. I'm gonna go for then. Um, I'm gonna first get the Bludger. Quaffle. Sorry, Quaffle. And um, then I'm gonna move that too. I'm gonna move it here. Pass it to Cho Chang. And then Cho Chang is gonna go five front. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I'm gonna move over Stan. 
with my this inventor. One, two, three. Here and um, yeah, stand with the strength. All right. Uh, Stan has minus one strength, so both sides roll d10. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, Stan is safe. Okay, so okay, it's option one left. So I'm gonna use Duncan for that part, and I'm gonna one, two, three. Was I not muted when I was talking to my parents there? You were not. Okay. And then I'm going to still move my Dementor here, even though he's immune. So I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to, can I do that? Can I just move over him? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, and my finish move. So maybe you can move on me. Okay, I'm going to roll three D6s. I mean, like three separate D6s just as a trial thing because I'm getting really shit moves there. So don't count them. But you will use the first one. No, no, I just want to throw them like two tries. Like, I don't want to use them. I just want to get them out of the way. Okay. Why? Because I've been getting twos and threes for snitch. Okay, fine. Okay, no, no, wait. Before you do that, are you, mm. you, are you throwing three dice and then you'll do the fourth one as the one you're using? Yeah. Okay. Just so we can commit to that now. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> have it. Get a six on the first one. You're not going back to it. <laughs> no. No. All right. Feel free. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now it's the main one. Okay. The next one is the one you're using. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. That was really bad dice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Oh, you guys go ahead. That's a uh, lunge grab. Are, are you going to do lunge grab or no? Nah? Oh, I can do that? Yeah. If you'd like to. You don't have to. You don't have to. So what does lunge grab do? Since you're lunging into a space, the uh, snitch gets an extra two onto its d20. Okay, but it already has a negative two, right? No, no, that's just for its movement rules. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do lunch. You are gonna. So if I don't get it, do I go back to half or something like that? No, nope. you move right next to the snitch, and the snitch will potentially throw you. Okay, I'm gonna go through that. Okay, so Luna has no accuracy, so you will roll a d10, and it's been. We've done six rounds since the snitch entered, so you will add six to your d10. The snitch will roll a d20 and add two for agility. Okay. All right, 12. Against 11, oh, it's not 11. a successful grab. And you can pick either Ooh. this space or the space that Luna lunged into. Oh, I have to do that. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna do it this one. All right. All right. Wow, we run in. Well, I'm gonna. Well. So what do no, I roll? Nothing. Okay. Well. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be generous and fair, and I'm gonna not throw you. I'm gonna go up here because we're we're running on time here, so. Okay. All right, Dumbles. Remember, remember how nice and kind and generous and fair I am. All right. Ooh, this is really good. Como, we don't have videos. I guess. Okay. Okay. Describe right. it in detail, Paige. Hmm. Actually, it's, it's your turn. Mine. Your team's turn. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get. Think those. about the taste, and then after your turn, describe it in detail. <laughs> Oh, nice roll. Okay. Uh, all of our 
folks are way up here. Is Stan getting sucked? Uh, yeah, I think we're safe. Yeah, yeah no, no. Stan, Stan, Stan's safe. He can do whatever he wants right now. Yeah. Oh, he's just out of reach of Cho. We're five, and we're just out of reach of that bludger. <laughs> and Ewan is getting sucked? No, Ewan uh, is just... He was immune on the last turn, but on the next turn, he won't be immune. He's immune? <laughs> you, <laughs> you could say that, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, let's go try and beat Cho with Ewan. Can you do that? Yeah, we can move him five and get in range. Oh, I see. So we go like one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Ewan does not. And if he misses, it's going to Mandrake Baby. <laughs> Mandrake Baby could maybe do something this game. Uh, yeah. So Ewan does not have accuracy. Sho has uh, plus one agility, plus is holding the uh, quaffle. So Sho will add three. Ewan will subtract one for being one space away. Both of okay. them will be ten. Ooh. That's an eight. Again, six. So that's oh. Beat. Boom. Roasted. Um, oh, I go back. Correct. Yep. yep. Okay. All right. That's not too shabby. Um, do you want to send, send Dan? Uh, we don't have any moves Wait. to beat that speaker. Uh. But I appreciate preventing the immediate publicly goal. messaging them, Matt, as opposed to secretly messaging them and say, hey. Well, you it's want... sort of retroactive. I mentioned it, but I was muted. <laughs> Listen, Alec, I think we should just, like, enjoy the fact that he's giving public <laughs> information oh, yeah, instead of doing it secretly. For that. <laughs> this right. is character growth. I'm going to move down Dan. What did you think of new man? I'll be, I guess I'll be back in a minute. Okay. 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 One, two, three over here. Sure. Just to be in the way. Yeah. And uh, maybe Mandrake Baby just in front of the net. Okay. Okay, are we gonna move our basilisk? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, I don't think we can catch anyone with this right now. Which way do you want to move them? Uh, it doesn't matter. Like I just like if they, if you can't catch anyone, we can just go past here and get ready okay. to do something. Okay. All right, and then seeker roll. Yep. This would have been a good Nifla game for how many balls are just sitting around. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yes. We can lunge. We can? Yeah. Okay. Four, five, six. We're in lunge range. All right, so you will roll a d10. You will add one for accuracy on Elpheus Doge, plus... Uh, seven rounds have now passed, so you will add eight overall, and the snitch oh, will yeah. to the d20. Roll d10. Ooh, that's it. Yeah. That's the game. Ah, nice rolling. <laughs> All right, so final score, 60 points for Dumble score, 10 points for Dead Serious. With, uh, Anyone get a hat trick? Crabs. Pardon? Anyone get a hat trick? Uh, yes. Neville Schlongbottom with the hat trick. Hey! Woo! So there what you a go. man. There you go, folks. Tomorrow night. I say you made... Oh, sorry. I was saying you made good, good use of those Dementors. I think we had someone in there almost every turn. All the time. Yeah.
Okay, so tomorrow night we have another game with, I believe, uh, Patronus. And Patronus and Slytherwin. Slytherwin, that's right. So that's tomorrow at 7 o'clock, so Paige, don't forget that you're in that game as well. Oh, we've already been strategizing. Oh, Ooh, that's oh, what we like boy. to hear. 